So one of my problems that I found with Fix It Friday is, is that whenever I go to shoot something in the boat, um, I always have to get out the GoPro. Well, the GoPro's got a horrible mic, and it doesn't work real well. My phone has a pretty good mic and a really good camera, but it's not wide angle like the GoPro is. So the folks over at Rovtop sent me this nifty lens. Now, that's a wide angle. So what I've decided to do is see how well it works. I'm going to put the phone in camera mode. I've got to clip it on the back and line it up just like that. Okay. Now, as you can clearly see, it's a much wider angle. As you clip it on, you tighten down this little screw. And this has a rubber pad so it won't hurt your screen. You tighten down the screw so it doesn't accidentally fall off. But what you have to make sure is in the bottom is that there's no black marks around the edges because if there's any black marks around the edges your camera's going to focus on those and not on what you're shooting. So today on Fix It Friday we are going to be replacing refrigerator seals because although I think that's the way marine refrigeration works. My wife thinks it should work better and she read on the forums that our seals are bad. Now, is it worth a hundred bucks to give it a shot? Sure, but these seals don't look broken or cracked anywhere. They kind of do. Look at that, that's completely... That's not cracked, honey. You have to go through. If you can't, if you can lift this out, right, and that's not going through, that's still making a seal. But anyway. Anyway, they're gross. Look at those. They are gross, and the new ones are pretty, and I guess that's where we're going with this. <laughs> so basically, there are screws on the inside of the seals that hold the fiberglass uh, insert, this piece, to the back of the stainless steel door. Now, honestly, I've never done these before, so I'm not sure what I'm doing, but I'm guessing. We have defrosted the fridge and freezer. Yeah, they've been opening them down for The freezer has gotten up to like 22 degrees, which is not really keeping things frozen. And the fridge is getting down to about 22 degrees. So <laughs> my stuff in my fridge is freezing and my stuff in my freezer is melting. So. And I just think that's the way it is with marine refrigeration. But. Well, that's just not good enough for me. <laughs> I refuse to accept your reality. And usually replace it with your own. <laughs> so this is the inside of the door. All right. I didn't realize that, that was how that was gonna work. This is the old seal. Blech. And we're gonna go match it up to the new seals while you clean it up and then we will reinstall it. All right. And as you can see, this one matches up with the one on the right, but you can tell that the one on the left is a little skinnier, but they're both the same height. And the one on, that is a little skinnier is the one that belongs to the freezer. Now one thing I did notice about these seals is they're a little bit thicker. And they seem to be made with a little better material than what the standard stuff is. this part's going to go in. Start at one edge, work your way around. It's not even in anything. Nope. 
Well, that's not good. Planned D. We are shimming the interior door with cardboard and then to 5200 around the seal, close the door, and leave it alone for a few hours, and hope when we open the door back, it will all come out as one piece. And then we're going to add said screws to it. Why are the screws necessary after it's... 5200 won't adhere to rubber for long, oh. even if it adheres at all. And the fiberglass that it will adhere to doesn't like to adhere to stainless very well, but it will adhere. So we need to wipe that off with the acetone and get some 5200 now to make this work. Ow. The ones that just went through my knee? Mm -hmm. So folks, if your 5200 ever goes dry. Why is that window open? Beautiful. Got it. And we wait for, is this fast cure? Yes. <clears throat> you always know it's going well when the vice grips come out. Pretty much the opposite. <laughs> so, good news is 5200 stuck. No, it didn't. I thought you said it did. Well, I did until I went to go put screws in it. And I pulled something up. Oh, yeah, I'm seeing. Okay. So, 5200 did not really stick. Stuck up enough to leave it alone to get the screws in, but now the screws are stripped. So, there's that problem. Now that the inset to the door is not aligned with the old screws anymore, I'm explaining to Holly that we have to pre-drill through the stainless steel because screws don't just go into stainless without pre-drilling. The proper way to done this would have been to drill and tap them but they're so too small for that, and this is the way the factory did it. All right, so freezer is going a little, maybe. Yeah, this one's working a little bit better than the other one. I didn't have to glue it and re-drill it. At least not. Of course. Finding the holes. Is they're tight. blow each other open but you know, just go like that and make sure they're closed. Alright. True test is gonna be what that thermometer says in a few days when it all cools back down. Whether this was all for naught. Mm-hmm. Or not for nothing. You've given the freezer and fridge time to cool down after replacing the seals and still no luck. So now, Mr. Mad Scientist is in the compressors trying to see if something is up with them. And what have we discovered, Mr. Mad Scientist? Uh, the thermostats are not shutting off. The thermostats are not shutting off. 
Not afraid to take apart nothing, this man. <laughs> Just do it anyway. We had previously cut vent holes there. And put a little great cover thing over it there. But that didn't seem to help. So now we're putting another fan. Possibly some more refrigerant. Replace the seals. Maybe that'll work. theory is correct we should seal this hole now instead of leaving a vent and it will draw the air from the air conditioner compartment across the refrigerator and freezer and out the two vent holes that we poured it on the other side using this fan here mm -hmm. Force it. That one's got like the triangle thing. Watch your uh, clippers. Voila! So basically, what we've done is we're going to wrap up the refrigerator series here. Um, like Holly said, we changed the gaskets. I didn't think that was going to help, but it does actually, whenever the door is closed now, they create a vacuum or a suction that holds them closed. So apparently we did have some air leak around the, um, around the door frames. Um, this refrigerator now has been running for right out a week. And as you can see, it's not frosted over. It's not, but it's also, 40 degrees but I have it turned just barely cracked on and they do pretty well even in low light but now I don't have to carry a bunch of cameras around I can just carry the spare lens so those are my thermostat controls up here we're gonna set them to about half and we're gonna come back and check it all in a few days and see if they've cooled over before we go putting any groceries in them. But I think that's going to fix our problem. We'll let you know.